Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day, Dr. Sperling. How are you? Doing just fine, thanks. Hopefully everybody else is having a good day. Well, thank you so very much, my audience. We're excited. Uh, They're excited about the information I told them they would get about heart healthy tips. Because from what I see that uh, we're going to talk about aspirin. And I think there's a little confusion there. You know, don't take it now. You know, used to take it, don't take it. So can you clear that up for us a little bit? Yeah, thanks for asking that question. It's a really important question because there has been confusion about aspirin use. And so today I want to talk about appropriate aspirin use. Appropriate aspirin use is for those who've had a prior heart attack, stroke, or cardiac event. Uh, They've had a prior bypass surgery or stent. And we know in this high-risk population, aspirin can be very effective in reducing the chance of a second heart-related problem. So that's the population we absolutely want to target. For others, it should be an important conversation with their doctor or clinical team about the potential benefits, but also the risks and side effects of aspirin. Before we go any further, I want my audience to know that Dr. Sperling is the executive director of Million Hearts. Dr. Sperling, okay, let's talk about the group that has not had any kind of heart uh, m- uh, malfunction. Tell me about them and aspirin, and then we'll talk about the latter group. Sure, for all individuals, but for those that have not had a prior heart related problem, we want to focus on all strategies to reduce the chance of a first cardiac event. For some of these individuals, depending upon their age, their underlying heart risk factors, aspirin still could be a potentially appropriate strategy for heart disease prevention. However, this should be an individualized conversation with their doctor and their clinical team asking the question, and it's an important question, could aspirin be beneficial for them? Is that group done by age, meaning if they're considering taking the aspirin, is that for my baby boomer group, those people born in 1946 to 1964? Or is that the primary group and the above? Yeah, and making that determination for those that have not yet had a heart-related problem, uh, we take into account many factors, uh, age, gender, if they have underlying heart risk factors. Um, But we also want to look at the equation of potential for benefit, but always the potential for side effects or harm. Uh, And as I mentioned, it should be an individualized decision based upon a composite of these factors with an important discussion with their doctor or clinical team. Okay, let's talk about the group that has had some kind of heart malfunction in some kind of way. What about them and taking aspirin? Yeah, this is the population uh, that is highest risk for a second heart-related event. We know in this population over the next five years, the risk of a second heart attack would be one in five. The risk of a second stroke would be one in four. This would be a clot-based or ischemic stroke. So in this population, we say this is appropriate aspirin use for the secondary prevention of cardiovascular disease. When we are talking about aspirin, why is aspirin such a key component for the heart to function properly? Yeah, aspirin is a medication, and and aspirin, its primary mechanism of action is it affects the platelets. These are cells floating around in our bloodstream that can promote clotting, and aspirin prevents these platelets from getting too sticky. 
So aspirin's main mechanism or main benefit is reducing the chances of a blood clot in our blood vessels. As an Emory University cardiologist, are you doing like pioneering work to help further this uh, challenge? I am a practicing cardiologist. I am an Emory University cardiologist. Um, I'm here today, though, on behalf of the CDC, and I serve as the executive director of the Million Hearts Initiative. This is a national initiative focused on the possibility that we can prevent a million heart attack strokes and cardiac events in our nation over the next five years through the implementation of proven and effective strategies. Dr. Sperling, thank you so very much. And your recommendation for people to find more information? Yeah, to find more information, both about Million Hearts, but also about appropriate aspirin use for heart disease prevention, you can learn more at millionhearts.hhs.gov. Thank you so much for your time and your information, Dr. Sperling. It's really valued. Thank you so much. I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. <laughs>